Hi guys, my name is DB and I'm a hard quality. Welcome to another exciting episode of Dreams Review. And today's review is follows the proudly sponsored by EB Records and airpass.com.ng two companies that currently go burning. Shout out to uh, Solar Sprite for kicking us up. You know, they've hooked me up with this dope t-shirt with my pages, my, my social media pages on it. And this dope Solar Sprite from Nelly. Solar Sprite NG sell all Solar Sprite from Nelly. You can check them out on Instagram. Solar Sprite NG. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, today we'll be reviewing one of, one of the most classiest champagne around. Yeah, I think it's around. I mean, there are several types of champagne, but this one is on a totally different level. Coming from white and champagne imperial, popularly known as Moet. Now, this is the champagne and it's brutes. Uh If you want to know what type of drink it, this is, it's, it's a champagne, it is sparkling wine, and it's a brute. Now when I say champagne, that's just geography. It means the drink is packaged and produced from champagne France. And when I say sparkling wine, it's a regular wine with bubbles in it. And when I say brute, brute is the French word for dry. It means it's just a dry champagne. Unlike the rosé, so uh, it has different kind of variants. We have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variants of the Moet and Champagne. We have the Imperial Boots, which is this one. We have the Rosé Imperial, not Imperial. Uh, in all, when you, when you see Rosé, naturally the colors are pink, so that's I think that's a pink version of this one. We have the ice imperial, which is, uh, which is to be served with ice cubes. We have the grand vintage and the grand vintage rosé. Now, listen carefully. Both the imperial and the rosé uh, imperial, they are non vintage. It means they are not as old as the grand vintage and the grand vintage rosé. Now, this wine, it's the specific one, it was launched in 1869. Yeah, 1869, about two centuries ago, and that whole percentage of this is 12 percent. Now, this, this is not the drink for the small boy, this is not your regular uh, uh, sparkling wine. It's not the entry, it's not the, you know, your regular sparkling wine I'm talking about. So, this is classic. Now, this bottle contains 750 milliliters. The whole bottle of this Moetan Challenge Imperial Boat is 750 liters. Now, this whole bottle contains 12% alcohol. So it means it's not a drink you will you can take just to get high or just to, just to knock yourself out. It's a drink you will drink that one calls for it. The pricing is the 5000 Yeah, so shop price. Sit in the kitchen. So I bought this bottle for 35000 Sponsored by my company though. And uh, my rating, I haven't drank it yet, so maybe when I open it, so I can give the proper self. It's not that I haven't had white before, but for the sake of this review, we'll be consuming it now, giving it first end uh, rating. Now let's talk about this trick. White Imperial is the iconic champion. It's created in 1968, uh, 1869, and I think it's like the flagship of Moet and Chandon. I mean, it talks about their style, their winery skills. This is this is the classic ass champion. The ass classic appearance you. I've told you about the other variants, and uh, with ascending, but the price increases too. Then now the blend. I've, I've googled, I've researched, I've done every research to know uh, what recipe contains, what what bottle contains. I mean, in terms of recipe, I won't be able to find specifics. What I could find from the uh, Moet and Chandon website itself, the official website, it says it's created from more than 100 different wines. More than 100 different wines. So you know it's, it's a very exquisite wine. Out of the 100 wines, we have three reserves. Three reserves wine. When you see some drinks, you reserve 
you know, it's almost e extinct, like almost it do not ex e exist again. It's like saying some animals are almost e extinct, it means they are rare, and to find them, you have to cross the seven oceans. Now, what are those three rare reserves? I mean, of course, Shadra gets make of this imperial. We have 30% of peanuts near. Actually, is it peanut or peanut? I mean, it's spelling it's P I N A T, so I don't know if that is French. Of course, it should be French since it's a champion. Peanut, no. Then you have 30% uh, of peanut, no. 30% of peanut, no. Then 20 to 30% of the finesse of Chardonnay. Chardonnay is another big problem, although by the same company, but uh, it's itself. Now, let's go to service. What is the perfect way of serving uh, a boy? Or how is the perfect way? Normally, if I were to be in a, a luxurious bar or a luxurious lounge, I expect it to be served perfectly. I would expect uh, a bottle of ice, a little water in it. At least that's what the website says. It says place the bottle in the champagne bucket. Although I don't have a champagne bucket yet, I just I just move in here with the I will improvise. Uh, it says place the bottle in the champagne bucket. You fill it with ice and water. You leave for 15 minutes before serving. Then after which you pull out the, uh, the bottle from the ice bucket. You wipe carefully. Make sure there's no uh, water underneath. Now, since I can't do one and two, I think I can do three and four. The next step is to grasp the base of the bottle. This grasping the base of the bottle and twist it gently. Uh, okay, no. Second step, though, I have to fill up this gold leather. That's why I'm talking this. Right. You know, you don't do things with you and return the drinks with you and add to the sellers to buy it and drink it. So now. Then it says um, to unfasten the wire cage without removing it completely while keeping the cork in place with my tongue. So I'm to fast unfasten this wire. Fruits like apple, lemon, and fresh nuts. 
Again, now, as if I'm going to recommend out of blend uh, works, though I like to drink it straight like this, because I don't see any trouble of making cocktails, make sure it's with other drinks. So it doesn't, it doesn't how the taste, the, 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 the unique taste of the works. But however, you can mix it with champagne, uh, you can mix it with cocktail, you can make a cocktail out of works. It means you have to drink with self out or the wine. Which has uh, whiskey or spirits. Now, my personal comments. This is a champion for the big boys. It's not an anti that you drink like water and you don't drink this to get high. This is not a drink to get tipsy or to get drunk. This is uh, a drink you just you bring your arms in a while and when it calls for it. So if I'm going to recommend it out for Moet, I'm going to recommend uh, a, a, a pop a bottle of Moet for celebrations. Like, like today is my house running, so that's why I'm doing this Moet. I think that brings us to the end of today's episode of Trends Review. Uh, please, uh, the brand needs support. Needs, uh, we, we, needs, uh, we need people, we need support so we can Keep reviewing more expensive drinks. This one put a hole in my pocket. It did, yeah. I mean, for the, for the sake of sponsorship, my company could afford it. So if you, if you like to apply to us, please send us a mail. And if you want to make more inquiry, if you want to know more about the show, please send us a mail at drinksreviewng at gmail.com. You can also visit our pages, our social media pages, uh, Twitter and Instagram. Drinks review and that's called NG. Keep supporting the brand. Uh, one last thing, please drink responsibly. Have a great weekend. Bye.